Wow, we've reached the 20th episode on Outsourcing Life. This is an exciting one where I interview the founder of a software company who's created a tool that allows you to find markets that are untapped for videos. Huge potential. Towards the end of this episode, I'll also share with you a new tool I'm using to get lots of traffic to my videos. Time to roll the music. Welcome to the Outsourcing Live Podcast, where you will learn to build a virtual team to run your business. And now, your host, Tyrone Shum. Hi everyone, it's Tyrone Shum from Outsourcing Life and today I'm very excited to have another interview here with you with a special guest and it's something to do with a particular software to find out what your competition is doing on YouTube and also find out what potentially you could do to find some good keywords to match into your YouTube channel and also your YouTube videos. Uh, what I wanted to do is to introduce it to you this person, his name's Charles Livingston and he's created this really amazing software called Video Shadow. So, welcome to the call, Charles. Thanks, Tyrone. How are you? Excellent, excellent. Um, Charles, before we jump into the software, maybe let's just give a little background of who you are so for the people who are listening to this podcast, get a feel of what you do and also what's related to this software about what you do. All right, not a problem. Um, well, um, actually, my uh, profession is actually I'm a chiropractor. Uh, <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> Completely different. To... <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Um, but then again, a lot of chiropractors have the entrepreneur bug, right? Exactly. Like my best too. friend. Yeah, exactly. My best friend is Brad Callen, and I've known him since kindergarten. And then while I was going through chiropractic school, he was uh, starting to make you know, millions online. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong profession. <laughs> so push comes to shove. Brad's just like, hey man, just come over here. Less stress, more money, lots of fun. Hang out with your best friends all day or work really hard, you know, work a nine to five job. And I said, all right, you got me. So I switched over to internet marketing and then, you know, you know, Brad, uh, he's just a, an amazing software developer. Yes. So you know, I had a great uh, foundation there. Um, one thing that he didn't do was go into video marketing, and that was something that I kind of piqued an interest in. So basically, I just took what I knew from him and started applying it to um, video. And I noticed that there wasn't any, what I was trying to do with video, there wasn't any research tools out there that, that would help speed up the process. And it would take me hours to research, you know, one niche when, you know, it could be done in literally minutes. Exactly. And so that's what Video Shadow does, is it helps you to research. Um, it's kind of like the SEO elite of uh, video. Exactly what I've been looking for as well because I've been uh, doing a bit of video online quite for some time now actually and when I first started, I had no idea about SEO nor did I have much idea about how videos were found and marketed and so forth. And as doing it over time, I've been looking around for software that can actually help me find out what are the right keywords that people are searching on for video. And that's how I actually stumbled across your, your software called Video Shadow. And it's a real pleasure to be able to have you on it because it's great to be able to hear directly from the source how your software works. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people who are listening to this podcast right now would love to know how it can benefit them. So would you, would you mind, Charles, to share a little bit more about what the Video Shadow does for people? Um, absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, basically, when you do research for video, you know, the top, we're talking about video SEO, right? That's right. Um, how to get your videos ranked in YouTube, right? YouTube is the biggest, second biggest search engine next to Google. Um, and, and it's growing every day. People, more and more people are using it. It's so mainstream now. It's ridiculous. Mm. So what you want to do is... For video SEO, you've got three main things that you want to deal with. It's your title, your tags, and your keywords. Or your title, your tags, and your description. If exactly. you can optimize those three, that puts you leaps and bounds above everybody else. Because 90%, 95% of everybody who uses YouTube have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> and yet, their videos ranked at the top. Um, and so, if you actually know what you're doing and can create quality content, you're unstoppable. And That's the with our market, exactly there. And we we've, we've just done it over and over and over again uh, with just different videos, showing that we can get just by proper video SEO using the tool because it makes it so much easier than going out there by yourself and just searching through YouTube. Um, we're able to get top rankings on lots of different videos. So out of curiosity, 
I mean, if you don't mind, do you have any examples that you could share that this this has helped with optimizing some of the videos you've done? Um, yeah. Uh, go if you go and type in uh, in YouTube weight loss. Yep. What's the first video that comes up? All right, let me have a look for. It might be different since you're all the way in Australia, so yeah, it's possible because I, I know that some of the videos that come up in in overseas and uh, states and also here are a little bit different. But I'll type it in weight loss, spelled L O S S, right? No. Yep. Yep. Okay. The first video is belly fat comeback member. No, no. Yep. Is that the one? That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Belly and fat comeback. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one of our. Uh, Clients, right? Yeah. Uh, and look, look, look how long it took us to get ranked number one. We did that in less than three, three months. Three months. <laughs> look at the amount of views, and look at everybody underneath us. I can see there's one that's here got 2.9 million views, which is done one year ago. Uh, a few other ones, 14 million that was done by Scooby 1961, which was done four years ago. So, <laughs> wow. You can see that those rankings there, you've actually killed those ones. Well, not killed, but <laughs> moved, moved <it> above them. <laughs> so, and if you, if you want to see how to video SEO, go ahead and go down to the descriptions and stuff and you'll see all the stuff that we've got in there. Okay, let's have a yeah. quick look then. I might as well jump straight in since we're doing this live. This is pretty cool actually. And I see that inside here you've got, okay, first thing you've got your title, which is, is Belly Fat Combat Member. Laurie, Laurie Dens weight loss before and after. Okay, so you've got the keywords weight loss in there. And yeah, weight loss, weight loss before and after. I mean, you can type in weight loss before and after. It will be at the top. Top too. as well. Okay, and then you've got here your link to the bellyfatcombat.com forward slash articles, go YouTube, etc. Mm -hmm. And then down here, oh, that's interesting. Now, what you've done is you've created, you've got an article here. Is this right? Absolutely, because YouTube. All, all they have to go on right now, which they're getting better at it, but all they're ha they have to go on is text. Yep. That's how they rank your video is text. The more text you have in there, the more they know what your video is about. Okay. So that's the key thing. I'm looking at it right now as people don't realize that it's very important to put something descriptive inside your description, like an article. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you need to make sure that you got all your tags need to be inside of that article and all of our tags are. Inside the article as well. You mean underneath the tag section or inside the article itself? Yeah, underneath the tag section, take all your tags and stuff them inside your your uh, description. Oh, okay. So put them inside and make sure that, like, yeah. for example, weight loss is inside your article as well, and before and after yeah. weight loss, before and after, etc. Those keywords are inside your article as well. So yeah, excellent. Okay, well, just now. We, we've talked a little bit about how you've done that. Now, if we jump back to the software, how does it work to allow people to be able to find the right keywords for that niche? Okay. Um, well, it's kind of hard when I can't show you, but I'll, I'll try <laughs> to talk about it here. Um, okay. So far in Video Shadow, which just is getting a major update um, from what it is now, and anybody who you know obviously purchases it now will get all the updates for free. Yep. Um, but the first project I have in here is something called YouTube Keyword Detective. And what it does is it allows you to put in a keyword phrase. Let's use weight loss, right? Yep. Um, and then you can choose anywhere from 10 keywords to 1,000 keywords. You know, we'll stick with 100 right now. Actually, can I ask, are you able to screen share your screen with me since we're on Skype? Oh, uh, yeah. I might as well do that. I might as well record it because I have got it on screen right now. So... <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can figure out how to use that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, you have to help me here. What do I need to hit? Let's see. Uh, there should be a button that. that says screen, share there screen. There we go. Okay, show entire screen. All right, can you see it? Yep, it's come up perfect. Thank you. Okay, so let me do this over again here. Okay, I have four projects here. I have YouTube Keyword Detective, uh, which is basically going to help you find a bunch of keywords. Uh, the Keyword Analyzer is where you type in a keyword and it will actually um, show you, you know, all the videos in Google or in uh, YouTube for that keyword. Yep. 
and then you can go through and look at everybody's tags basically reverse engineer the top 20 videos okay and you can take their keywords you can check their descriptions you know and you can see how many backlinks they have and all the important stuff that you need to be able to get your video above theirs great okay and video analyzer is just the opposite of keyword you just put in the URL of the YouTube video and it'll give you all the information and this is um, this is kind of designed more for people who do a lot of offline stuff uh, for clients like if they want their videos ranked in YouTube or you know you get the URL you can just pull up their information real fast it's very smart to do it that way okay so and I will be adding a feature where you can actually upload a list of videos so you can pull multiple clients videos at once and so you don't have to do it one at a time that would be a good good function to have actually so, um, and then the last one is YouTube Video Ranker. And this uh, basically just shows you your video rankings in YouTube. Oh, okay. What your competitions, or what you are and your competition is up to. How many does that list for you to see? Um, which one? The Video Ranker? Yes. Uh, it's, um, is that, okay. It's basically what it does, before I answer that question, it's, you know, you type in your keyword and your URL of the video, and it will show you on YouTube where you're ranking. Oh, and so okay. you can editor. You can. Do, I mean, you can do all that stuff. Okay. So right now, it's it's very simplified. I'm going to make it more advanced. For um, in January, you'll be able to see that. Simple's good though. Simple's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll come back to the YouTube keyword detective. Alrighty. So here we go. Let's do 100. We'll type in weight loss now for the people who are listening to this on the podcast you can actually see this on the YouTube channel which uh, Charles will run through which I'm recording right now so don't worry if you're just hearing us on the podcast we'll, we'll <laughs> give you an indication of what we're doing and how we're doing it okay I just went ahead and you saw how fast I pulled up the information um, this is taken straight from the YouTube keyword tool Okay. Uh, so okay. that's where I'm getting all this information. Yeah, okay, and I'm going to give you a little preface to that because <laughs> the YouTube keyword tool is very primitive right now. Yeah. And so you yeah. get words in here that make absolutely no sense. Okay, so I've got this broken up into broad phrase and exact for you. Um, another thing that I've added in here is the ability to see if you have a video for this keyword on page one of Google. Uh, the that's way you want to look at this is if you do have a video on page one of Google, those are the keywords that you want to go after because that it's basically like you're double dipping. You're getting two times a punch, twice as much traffic. Oh, yeah. Wow. See what I'm saying? Wow. Yep. So if it's no, the chances are that it's not a keyword that's right to have a video on it um, or you know, it's just too much uh, just regular search that's overpowering videos. And it would take forever to get a video on there. Okay, actually, so can, let, let's just let's use an example just so that would be clear, so people understand. There's a column that says "video on Google Page One," and we're in yeah, right this here. example right now of weight loss. Right. So on weight loss, there is no video on Google Page One for weight loss transformation, which you know that would be a word that you would think that you would have a video on because you want to see somebody's transformation. Yep. Therefore, yep. there is a video on there. Yep. Okay, weight loss journey, same thing. Weight loss methods, no. Weight loss tips, no. Um, so what you can do is actually just sort uh, this, and just, so you can put all the um, all the keywords at the top that have videos, and you can kind of sort it that way, or you can sort it by broad or phrase or exact. Um, like I said, when you do this, as you notice, Britney Spears comes up as the number one. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's why I said the the uh, YouTube keyword tool is very primitive still. So you're going to get all kinds of crazy stuff like that pop up. Mm -hmm. But here's a surprising one for you, Zumba. Uh, this is a really big workout in the States. I don't know how it is in Australia. Yeah, it's right taking, taking off here just like P90X has and I see P90X oh. is down there too. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it's a huge craze over here and women love it for losing weight because you can burn like a thousand calories in an hour. It's ridiculous. Wow. So, so what I'm trying to understand here, sorry to interrupt you there, Charles. No, it, it says here, a video on page one, it says yes right now for Zumba and the, the, that's just one, one word itself. So are you saying that this particular keyword should be a keyword you should be targeting or not targeting? 
I would say yes, you should target this because if there's a video on Google, and that means if you can get your video at the top of the ranks in YouTube, chances are it's going to show up on Google, which means twice as much traffic for you. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. But Zumba itself is a brand name, so it'd be very competitive and also potentially you'd be going with copyright issues there, correct? Um, yeah, I mean, with copyright stuff like that, I mean, people get ranked for Britney Spears, people, people get ranked for 50 Cent. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it just... You know, I'm not a lawyer or anything, so got to just do it. Do it the proper way, I guess, if you want to do it properly. So maybe we'll just stick with weight loss then. The keyword weight loss, which seems to be coming down, not too far actually. It's only about like five or six spots down, or probably a little bit more, like seven spots yeah, down. Yeah, I mean that's that's a huge word. And there's no so, video that's on there though. So it's not even on page one. Right. So that one was one that uh, you know. You can go after, but I wouldn't make it your main one. Your main keyword you want to be to kind of double up on. Yeah. So I mean, when I look at tags and descriptions of YouTube, I try to fill fill it up as much as possible. Like you saw how big my article was; it was like 500 words. Exactly. Tag, tag, I try to put like 20 to 30 tags typically. Oh, okay. That would be very good. Well, that's a really good tip there to do that. Okay, so looking just at the Video Shadows um, keyword research sort of tool here, I don't know, what, what do you call this section again? Keyword analysis tool? This is the uh, Keyword Detective. Keyword Detective. So basically, you can just go through here, you know, hit control and just pick a bunch of different keywords and then copy them to the clipboard and then paste those right into your, your uh, YouTube tags area. Oh, okay. So these are potentially keywords that people are searching on that uh, you could use as tags. So whenever Google's searching for you, uh, yeah. hopefully these will be the ones that will come up. Exactly. Uh -huh. So now let's go ahead and move on to the YouTube Keyword Analyzer, okay? So this one, uh, we'll do the top 20 videos on this one. And let's do, what do you think, weight loss again? Sounds good. Okay. Remember, this is a very competitive industry, so it's interesting to see how it's working right now for videos. Okay, so here you go. Okay, right there is my video, number one. Yep. And yep. then it just makes it so much easier because it takes out all the noise on this one. Definitely. So you can actually just see the statistics. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, looking at this right now. It's so simple. It's just a whole list of all the videos that are ranked currently on that first page of YouTube. Is that what it's supposed to do and shows you what, what's there? Yeah, it just shows you everything. So you can check the titles. You can compare the titles. Uh, you can look at the top titles of the ones, uh, the top three here, and see you know what, what they're putting in their title. So if you want to be at the top, you know you better have something close to what's in their title. Ah, oh, that's very smart. See what I'm saying? Um, your views, uh, you know, I've, this is a new feature that I've added that will be out in January. So you guys are getting a little sneak peek of this. I've added the average for the top 10 results. So basically, uh, in the top 10, this is what you need. <laughs> That's quite a high, high number of stuff. Almost like three, 3 million worth of views to be at have average. Hmm. <laughs> but you've got to see, this is, like I said, this is just an average. You've got to see, like, some of these guys have got 14 million views, like, seriously. Yeah, that's right. So, but there's hope because I've got 51,000 views and I passed this guy up. <laughs> yeah. So you if do. you know what you're doing, it's not that hard. Okay. Um, the next thing you can do is you right click on this and I can actually get the backlinks data. So. You know, right here, you can see all these videos that are actually linking to my video or different websites that are linking to my video. Uh, and if you do that on your competitors, you can actually just go to those links and, you know, try to get your own link on there. All right. So now you've raised up a really good question. A lot of people are asking about backlinks. I'm not 100% sure, but I assume that YouTube looks at your video. If there's a lot of backlinks there, it would probably rank it up high. Is that the case? Um, from yes. yes, okay. There's a big argument about that, but it is. It I, is. I would 100% say the backlinks are huge okay. when it comes to video. 
So the same strategy or similar strategy applies in, in Google. The more backlinks you've got to your website, the higher potential chance that you'll rank up high. So the same thing applies here. The more backlinks you drive to that particular link, is it like youtube.com forward slash watch, etc. Is that the link that you're supposed to drive your backlinks back to to be able to rank it up high? Yes. Okay. You want to drive it back to your video link, yes. Okay, so straight to the video link and when Google see, or not you, Google YouTube sees that, there's a potential that it would drive it up higher and therefore rank it up higher. And it has, to, with those links, do they have to have the anchor text as being say like weight loss or can it be just backlinks? Um, yeah, you would, you would want your keyword. So it would be weight loss, and your your uh, your link would be you know your YouTube. Okay. Link. So for the people who who are listening to this podcast, if you don't understand what a backlink is, I'll just explain it. Is firstly, it's a link that's coming from another site, and particularly it's going back to say, for example, this video that you've got here. And then when I ask Charles about the uh, the anchor text, which is just the keyword that goes next to your backlink or on top of your backlink. That's very important and in this case, we're talking about weight loss. So when we're talking about weight loss, we want to make sure that you put weight loss as being the keyword and then that link that your people are potentially going to be clicking on is the video link of YouTube. Is that the correct to say, Charles? Yep. Okay, good. So at the moment, I'm looking at your, your top one there and we see that there was 896 backlinks to that particular video or something like that, 896 if I remember. Yeah, I'm going to put it there, 869. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How many backlinks does the second on the third video have, for example? Okay, let's go look. Mm -hmm. uh, Is there any way that you'll be putting a column there for the number of backlinks so it would be easily skimmed through? Uh, probably not, um, just because it would just the way it's set up, it would crash a lot. It would um, crash the system uh, because of you. Uh, Yahoo doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're using so, it too much, yeah, they get they get mad. Okay. So this okay. one's got 211. Ah, so you've already beaten that just by putting a few extra hundred above. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I mean. This is just one thing to look at. There's so many different factors. That's the one thing about video SEO is there's so many more factors that go into it besides on top of the regular SEO. Okay. Would, so, you, would you mind sharing with us what other factors that, that you're actually, referring to? I can show you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Title, uh, your views, the comments, how many comments, how many favorites, uh, how many likes, you know, the age. Uh, your tags, how many tags you have, what category you're in, uh, this description, uh, and your YouTube channel, how many videos that you have, how active are you on YouTube. The more videos you have, the more likely you're going to get your video ranked higher. See, all those together is what's going, going to get your video up to the top. Wow. There's actually a lot more criteria than you do have for, say, Google by sounds of things. Yeah, um, with the video shadow, I made a what I call my video SEO blueprint, and it lists, uh, I think, like 17 different um, video SEO things, and I laid it out in a blueprint, so it tells you what it is and what you need to do to optimize that area. So for comments, it gives you like three or four different ways that you can boost your comments, mm. or you know, getting likes for getting you know your title. All these, it just gives you a bunch of different ideas and ways to boost those. That's crazy. So the idea is, you know, the more that you, you do for each of those, the faster and the higher you're going to be able to get your video ranked. Okay. That's very, very um, helpful there. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will probably gain a, yeah, definitely use that. I, I, I'm already learning a lot as well because I didn't know that all these factors would play a part. I was just focusing on a, a, a probably two or three of them, but uh, now that you've opened up my eyes, there's a lot more to do it. <laughs> That's a little more advanced, you know. Like I said, title, tags, description. If you do that and you do that well, that will get you a lot. That will get you far. That's great. Well, I mean that that really covers a lot of it already. That's two parts in your video shadow software. What are some other nifty stuff or ninja stuff that you can show me here? Um, let's see. We can go. Let's do this guy. Uh, we can view his channel. 
Wow. Yeah. As you can see, or if you're watching this, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. It's very comprehensive, this particular software. Yeah. So here's his YouTube channel, and um, this tells you how many subscribers he has, how many channel views, you know, how many total video views, uh, the PR of the channel. It's not very high at all. It's zero. <laughs> um, actually, that's wrong. I'm going to have to get that fixed. Oh, okay. I just know that. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah, YouTube changes stuff. So with software, you're always constantly updating Updated. and updating. So I will definitely get that. Fixed. I was going to say, how's it possible he's got a PR zero when he's got over fourteen million be, views? <laughs> yeah, he's probably like a PR six or PR seven. Yeah. Would be my guess. Okay, he's got a lot of videos. I mean, he look does. at all these videos he has. It's all to do with weight loss as well. Yeah, body yeah. transformation, twelve week body transformation. There's quite a lot here. Cool. Yeah, all these guys um, typically they'll just niche him out and just. All the videos will be just for weight loss, and they'll have multiple channels instead of putting all the videos on one channel. Oh. And that's the way you should do it because you want to keep it as focused as possible. For, it's, for each channel. Yeah, you don't want somebody going to uh, if you've got like if you're in like ten different niches, you don't want somebody going to your YouTube channel looking through and being like, okay, this guy's not really an expert. You know, he only knows he's got a video, one video on weight loss, and you know, five on dog training. You know, this doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's very smart actually, because then that way, when you choose your channel name as well, you can choose the the niche that you're going to focus that channel on too. And if you can choose a keyword as your uh, or have the keyword in your channel name, that's even better. Yep. Excellent. So my 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 video channel name is Video Shadow Marketing. So I've got my name in there plus marketing. So I've got video marketing in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's a smart move. Very smart move. Okay. So, yeah. So we're looking over here now. Uh, this this screen that you brought up it just showed all these videos. Oh, now we're jumping back to the other one. If we exit it out of this one, I'm just curious. If I'm doing analysis because I'm, I'm always sort of referring back to Market Samurai and I'm not sure, have you used Market Samurai yourself? I have it, yes. Yeah, okay. With Market Samurai, you know how in, this, in the third module there's a competition analysis where you can compare how your competitors are doing by their PR, by their backlinks and all that kind of stuff. Is there something that is similar to this in Video Shadow for us to determine whether or not the market is feasible to jump into? Um, well, here would be your PR. Like I said, it's broken, so I gotta fix it. <laughs> it's, yep. it's all zero. But this will give you the PR of all the videos in this niche. Um, the average is gonna help you. Uh, and just like I say, going through the comments and the favorites, this is just your averages of everything, or this is gonna be the statistics of everything. Mm. So, so that's kind of the the competition module where okay. you can compare. Them. But um, like say for example, from a beginner's perspective, like if I've never used a software like this or I, I wanted to see a quick and easy way to find for me, say for example, weight loss right now I'm looking at, is there a, a, a specific formula you can share with me on how you determine this is a market? Because like now you've got the top ranking for this, but how did you determine that weight loss was a good market for you to jump into when there's so many thousands of other videos there? <laughs> well, um, okay, here's a secret. YouTube is still very, very young and you can break into any niche. <laughs> <laughs> I've broken, I've gotten a video in gaming, you know, which is another huge, huge niche for Nintendo. Mm -hmm. I, I had a video at the top. Um, music, I've got uh, one of my friends, we're helping him and his channel and I've gotten, we've gotten probably five or six of his videos in the top three right underneath the artist like the actual artist so one of the songs is Demi Lovato's uh, Skyscraper oh, okay. uh, that's a pretty popular song he's like number three on that for that song that's amazing and yeah. what what have you done though because you, you've done the research using Video Shadow but what did you do to be able to get those videos up to those rankings what were some of the techniques that you implemented besides, <laughs> besides putting in the title and description? Because there's probably other ways you, you've got to in, 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 encourage that to happen, right? Um, yeah, I just basically follow that video SEO blueprint that I, okay. you know, I give forever. Okay. You know, there's 17 different things, so we just try to uh, maximize as much as possible. Um, backlinks, that's one that people leave out a lot. Um, uh, embedding the video on 
other blogs. You know, so that, even... is, that is something that somebody else has recently shared with me. Now I know a good colleague of mine, and he said the same thing. So this is true that embedding does help. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. That's a really good tip there. So something like title, description, tags, that's the really on-site kind of YouTube stuff that we're looking at, things that you can visually see. But then you've got the backlinks, you've got embeds, comments, likes. Those are some of the things that you just, well, I shouldn't say likes and comments you can't see, but the backlinks and the embedding is something you can't see that a lot of people overlook. Yes. Yeah. That's very, very interesting. Very interesting. Well, I've definitely learned a lot from that one there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm really impressed by this. Anything else you want to share with us on Video Shadow? And um, yeah, probably at the end, I'll want to actually refer to, to for people to check it out as well. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, that's basically it in a nutshell. Like I said, I'm going to be adding a bunch more stuff to it. Uh, you know, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and make it as easy as you, to use as possible, but making sure that you can get all the information that you need fast. Excellent. And, so. and you mentioned to me there'll be a Mac version coming soon too, which I'm excited and eager to, to get. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I do plan on making a Mac version. <laughs> no, that's really good news. I'm really happy about that. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Well, um, I know that a lot of people probably want to find out how to get in contact with you and how to get hold of this piece of software. Is it okay if I put in a link down below this video as well and also below the podcast so people can actually check it out as well? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Excellent. It, it'd probably be an affiliate link, so just letting people up uh, up front know. And um, if you do purchase it through my link, I just want to thank you up front for that as well. Um, anything else I should probably mention to other people, Charles? Is it the the report that you've got on your site as well that you can download the SEO blueprint? Yeah, yeah. When you go to download the video, it'll be right underneath. It'll say "Download the video SEO blueprint." Okay, great. Well, definitely check that out. I know I've um. <laughs> definitely download it and purchase the software myself. I've started using it. I still got to get through that blueprint and I'm glad that I got you on the call to have a chat to you about that because <laughs> it's got me excited to get into those things as well about video. Now, as I, as you probably know, uh, Charles, I, I mostly talk about outsourcing and I, I focus now specifically on outsourcing videos. How can a potential like video editor or virtual assistant help with the with using this software to help anyone get their rankings up higher? Um, one would be to actually, <laughs> this is really easy, uh, when you download the video, make sure that the file name has your keyword in it. Oh, okay. So you're saying like, for example, weight loss, like weight loss dot MOV or weight loss dot MP4, it should be exactly. named that and then upload it onto YouTube, for example. Yes. Really? Oh. <laughs> There's a little sneaky one for you. Yeah, thank you. I owe you a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Well, Charles, how can other people get in contact with you if they want to find out more or speak to you directly about that software? Um, they can just send me an email. My email is a video shadow 2 the number 2, yeah. at gmail.com. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it's been a real, real honor to be able to have you on here, you know, specifically speaking to the source, the person who, who <laughs> developed the software. It's, it's been great. I'm pretty sure that I'll, I'll be getting you back onto another call because I'd love to get you to share with us the new version once it comes out. And um, yeah, once it comes on the Mac, I can't wait to share it as well and, and show other people how to use it. <laughs> no, not rubbing it in, but the Mac's important. <laughs> Hey, I understand. Like I said, after I get my final updates done, then I'm going to send it over to a developer to work on the Mac version. Mac version. Yeah, I'll be great. So. Well, you've really done the hard work for me, so I really appreciate that. It's time for the Outsourcing Live Quick Tip. If you know with regards to ranking your videos on YouTube, YouTube actually has a few criteria to get your videos ranked up higher. Say, for example, a search term like outsourcing or for weight loss or anything like that, YouTube looks at various factors. And one of the major factors that YouTube looks at when you do upload a video is the amount of backlinks it has to that particular video. And on top of that, obviously, the, the title, the descriptions, all the rest of the stuff is very, very important. 
but backlinking is also another strategy that you could help boost your rankings for your videos and to get more traffic to those videos back to your blog. So what I'm going to suggest to you right now is a new service that I've been using. I know this service has been around for quite some time but I've only been recently recommended to use this service by Gideon Shawick from GideonShawick.com and he uses this as well from what I understand to link or add more backlinks to his videos and it's helped driven a lot of his videos up to the top page of a lot of keyword terms such as how to get more views on YouTube, uh, how to get more, how to rank high on YouTube, etc. And those are some just those key terms that he's focused on and used backlinks to drive more to it. So I've been using this and in the past I've been using another software but I'm switching over to this particular software called SEO Link Vine. And it's apparently been really, really good and I've been using it now to be able to get some traffic also back to my videos and then back to my site. Now, if you want to check it out, all you have to do is simply go to outsourcinglive.com forward slash SEO link L-I-N-K Vine V-I-N-E and that will take you directly there. So, if you have to type that really, really long link in and basically you'll see a little page here just explaining you how this whole SEO link Vine works and basically all you have to do is submit content here and the backlinks will be generated for you to your videos and it's a very effective and quick way to be able to leverage off. Now, if you're looking to use this to create more backlinks for your website, I don't recommend it because what will happen is that it's potentially very, very powerful that may get your uh, say website flagged by Google. So I would only recommend using this software to drive lots and lots of backlinks to very high ranking sites like YouTube, article directories, Squidoo and those ones that you own. So if you've got a YouTube channel and also you've got YouTube videos, then it's no problem to drive traffic to these videos at all or drive more backlinks. So check it out. As I mentioned, you can see this as well at outsourcinglive.com forward slash SEO link juice, sorry, link vine. And you can also click on the link on my show notes on this episode which you can also download or see at outsourcinglive.com forward slash episode 20. Now, if you like more resources like this one, you can find them inside Mass Outsource Mastermind along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them. To get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.